Hey guys and gals, welcome to Homestead Love. I'm Danielle, and I'm on a journey to create a more sustainable urban homestead for my family. Follow along and learn with me. Here's what I've been up to for the last week or so. Canned up some tomato paste, made some more apple cider, did some more seed saving. But today, we're gonna make some lip balm. Alright, guys, let's make some lip balm. Need a double boiler. For this project, I'll be using extra virgin olive oil. Don't need very much at all. Lip balm containers do not take much, so you don't need a whole lot. Here's what we did. Tiny, tiny bit. You see that? You sure can. Next, we'll need beeswax. I don't really have measurements. Again. I don't cook with measurements, you guys. I'm like old fashioned cook, like pinch of this, dash of that. I do not. I, I'm just, I, I don't like the restraints of measurements. I don't like it. I want to be able to do my own thing. Perfect. That's just perfect. See how it's just covered, just barely covered by the oil? Perfect. Let's get some of these out and get them ready. And I need to decide what flavor I want to do. I have never done flavored lip balms before. I always just do plain old regular old lip balm. But this year I want to try something different with the kids being, you know, I got two 18 year olds right now. One's about to turn 19. And then a five year old and an eight year old. And five year old and eight year old are going to want flavored lip balms. I know they will. They're kids. I'm trying to remember what flavors I got. Ah, uh, here we go. Strawberry, watermelon, vanilla ice cream, raspberry, blueberry, and chocolate. I think... I would typically start with cherry, but I didn't even get cherry. I'm gonna do vanilla ice cream. Cause that sounds yummy. Don't you guys want that on your lips? I want that on my lips. what we got water and oil soluble extra strength okay cool like I say I've never done the flavors before they're just little droppers I guess what's this one oh here it is vanilla ice cream perfect I want to sniff this with my sniffer to see oh what happened I thought they would be squeezy droppers. I was wrong. Ooh, that smells like vanilla ice cream. They are. Let's see what's going on. Set you there. There's little, little baby droppers. Look at that. Holy crap. Those are so tiny. <laughs> okay. You take one of the little droppers out when you wanna, when you're ready to use your oils here. Rest back in here so I don't lose any of them or break them for heaven's sake. I agree. And then these just get tucked inside there. Then you got a little dropper. I like these little bottles. These would be great for um, throwing like single serve tinctures in. I kind of like that idea, especially since they're, I know they're food safe. Okay, we'll put one skirt in now and then we'll wait and put another in after we are removing it from the heat. I need to grab, oh, I have a spoon, we're good. But we need to stir that. Apparently there's water on the bottom of my pan, can you hear it hissing? 
sure you can hear that and the dishwasher. Sorry about the noise, guys. I don't know whether we're going to keep this talking or whether I'm going to voice over this. I haven't decided. I need to go find my little dropper to squirt them in. So let's pause that. Alright, this is what I'm talking about. We'll pull this back to get the oil out of there and then we'll drop it into these little guys. It's really tricky to fill these sometimes if you don't have something like this. You can do it without it. I've done it without it. But it's no good, man. You're going to spill a lot with a lot of product. So funny. I was downstairs cleaning up my craft room yesterday. And, well, I started cleaning up. That's, it's a whole process because I'm redoing the whole thing. But, uh, that's going to have to wait until after the holidays because right now I am focused on um, Thanksgiving we're hosting this year. So I'm focused on getting all the stuff done for that. But, uh, after Thanksgiving's over, game on. I'll be down in that craft room. I have plans for it. And I told you guys a little bit about that. But, um, we're going to, it's going to be crafts sewing and growing so yeah it's gonna it's gonna be a lot and it's a tiny tiny little space it's just the corner of our basement basically and um it's probably 80 feet square feet but i have to fit so much stuff in there so i'm gonna have to be extra extra organized which right now it's all jam-packed in there but it's gonna be um, it'll be interesting. And I'm really excited to get it done because I have a project to do once, once I have everything ready and I have a project to do that I want to film for you guys. But I'm not letting the cat out of the bag yet, so. Secrets. Oh, smells good. Oh, that ice cream, that vanilla ice cream, what? Hey guys, we're about melted here. You can see it's coming up on the edge here. I'm gonna have to scrape her off and see how it came up on the edge. Just scrape her off and get it back down in there. We're almost completely melted. We've got a few little chunks of wax in there still, so we're gonna hold off on. We're gonna make sure that it gets completely melted. I'm gonna add in our second um, dropper full of the ice cream, vanilla ice cream flavoring. For our lip balm. Lip balm's so easy. Like, I don't understand. You're gonna go out and pay $2.50, $2 to $2.50 a tube, depending on where you're at, at least here in the US. You don't typically find them for a dollar anymore. They're now at least $2. But that's because these containers, most of them cost over a dollar by themselves, unless you buy it in serious bulk. Alright, turn off. We're gonna move this. So y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay. So I'm actually I'm gonna take this spoon out because I can't have that in there. Give me more. So I'm You guys see that? I hope you can see that really well. So it's kind of cool. And then we just making these for Christmas gifts and stuff like that to give away, like homemade lip balm. It's such a cool thing to do. Because everybody needs it. I mean, I asked my husband this morning, it was funny, I asked him what flavor he wanted, it was like, I don't want any lip balm. And I was like, seriously? I was like, I don't like having dry chocolates. I'm pretty sure you don't either. And you know what? In a few months, he'll probably be going out and buying some at the freaking store. And then I'll get mad at him because I already made some. There we go. Okay. 
the bubbles slowly work themselves up and out and stuff, so sometimes you have to add another drop or two onto the top. But I like it to have like a nice little round look where it's barely staying in there. Because they look prettier when they're done drying down, cooling off, whatever you want to call it. Sometimes as they cool, they'll cave and you have to add more. So it's good to keep your little bit of extra in your jar so you can add to it as it goes. Like I'll, sit, I'll leave this sitting next to the burner because it's nice and hot. And I'll slowly keep adding to these. But I'm going to bring it over a little bit closer and show you. You see, the bubbles are slowly coming up to the top. And they'll slowly start to kind of cave in in the middle. And then we'll just put another drop on there and it'll cool. And But you can see how around the edges they're already starting to cool. That's it. That's lip balm, guys. So easy. Extra virgin olive oil, beeswax, and flavoring if you want. You don't even need the flavoring. So yeah, that's what I got for you guys today. Whoop whoop, lip balm. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, thanks for sticking around till the end if you're still here. Uh, hit that like and subscribe. Love you guys, bye.